Hello YouTube. Today on Limited Kits Corner is a Blue Ridge Models 1700 scale IX64 USS Wolverine kit. Uh, this is a limited edition of 250. Again, it is in 1700 scale. We'll go ahead and grab the kit number first here, which is BRM-70053. One thing that is very interesting about the Wolverine and its sister ship, Sable, which as far as I know, nobody has released a model kit of, um, I'll just go ahead and kind of go around the box here, um, they were two old passenger liners that were converted to be training aircraft carriers on the Great Lakes. What made them interesting was this section right there. They were paddle wheels. They were um, the only paddle wheel steamships, uh, I should say carriers, uh, ever designed. And again, they were for training uh, missions on the Great Lakes. Uh, PBS did a great documentary called Heroes on Deck uh, a few years back. If you ever get the chance or if you'd like to learn more, that definitely talks about this program specifically. So let's go ahead and get into the model. Um, now, Blue Ridge models, definitely you will be paying a premium for these even though they are 1 to 700 scale. Um, the thing is, though, as you'll see here on the first page, you get everything you need to make this into a fabulous model. Um, where with uh, Tamiya or Trumpeter, if you buy a ship, you usually have to spend at least as much on a detail set to bring it up really to spec to get it um, to a good place. This has all of the railings, all of the detail that you could ever want, um, really just out right out of the box, which is great. So we do have um, the uh, main hull. It is a waterline only kit, so you do not get a full hull. It also has uh, the flight deck and then a few other uh, bits of... Um, you know, rigging, things like that, that it would be for the ship. And then a paint mask for the deck. A couple of photo etch frets as well. And then you're into construction. So you'll be making the uh, anchor here, getting that put up front, getting the air intake, intake piping here on the starboard hull, getting a couple of things for lowering or for men to walk down to get to the water line. And just, just kind of continuing on. So as you can see here, putting the paddle wheel together, it's not a full wheel. Um, it's only about, you know, I'd say maybe a quarter of the wheel, um, but it's still uh, once put together and painted, will show that this was a paddle wheel carrier. Bottom side of the flight deck, putting the support structural beams into place, starboard and port side, bow and aft, and then putting some additional catwalks, gangways. Um, these ships, as they served only on the Great Lakes, didn't have any sort of armament, so uh, they were really bare bones carriers, unlike you know the big flat tops of the uh, of the Pacific War. So, again, just going through all of the photo etch, getting it bent into place and ready to be put into place. Then mating the upper deck with the lower hull. Finishing up the actual island assembly here. Putting in the uh, rigging lines along with the uh, side bridges as well. And basically just going through adding additional deck details, putting the island up, putting your uh, landing signal officer stand there, lifeboats, again, just uh, additional information or additional photo etch detailing. And 
I mean, that that's really about it. I mean, uh, it, it is a lot of work. This will definitely take quite a few months to complete, um, to complete well. Um, but at the same time, it is really neat. Um, also, it does come with a painting guide here. So, um, whole gray is everywhere, or I'm sorry, haze gray everywhere, and then light gray for the actual uh, life rafts, and then showing different locations for specific markings. So you have the paint guide for down the deck, you'll have a couple of yellow lines and your white, um, and that's really about it. Once you're done, you'll have a nice representation of the USS Wolverine, one of only uh, two paddle wheel aircraft carriers. So, taking a look here, what do we get in the box? Well, here's your flight deck. Um, to give a little sense of scale, here would be a bottle of Tamiya cement. Um, so, sitting it on the desk right in front of it. Yeah, relatively small uh, compared to some of the flat tops, but then again, this was a you know relatively small carrier. It, it really did not... Um, the deck was a lot shorter and was really just for training, making sure that pilots could take off from land and go out to sea and find their, find the carrier. You have your resin parts here in a single bag, little lifeboats in here, just some of the different detail information. There are no aircraft that come with this kit, so uh, if you would like to build it, uh, you'd have to decide what uh, versions of aircraft you'd like. Obviously, it does give you a few here as kind of references, but um, you'd have to get an additional you know, third-party detail set. And then lastly is the lower section, or I shouldn't say lastly, uh, but then we have the lower hull here. So a couple of injection ports for the resin parts that would need to be removed. Um, but once complete, we'll roughly resemble, let's see, get this lined up, you will roughly resemble this. will be, well, that's your model. So, um, obviously there's a lot more detail that needs to go on to here. Um, probably would want to smooth out this base piece here. Um, obviously by being waterline only kind of limits how you can display it. If you, um, want to just put it on a nice plinth of lumber, whatever the case may be. The one other thing that is nice about Blue Ridge models is they all come in these very nice foam padded boxes. And down here on the bottom, I'll go ahead and leave this in place. This is just a die cut mask set for the deck. So once you paint the one color, you can switch over to the other. Then you have two photo etch frets and this one is uber thin. Uh, I believe 0.1 mil is what this is, uh, which is going to be all of the ladders, gangways, uh, you can see the catch rigging here for the aircraft, and then all of the larger structural supports for the underside is in this 0.3 millimeter uh, brass photo etch fret, which also does include the paddle wheels as well. So. There you go. No, a uh, bit of a quick look here, but hopefully a uh, detailed enough look of what you get uh, with the Blue Ridge models, 1 to 700 scale USS Wolverine.